Fox corner, Richard Sherman was accused of posting critical comments about the activist King Noble of the Black Lives Matter movement on Noble's website. Before getting into his normal press conference, Sherman denied writing the comments and addressed that topic with the media yesterday. I think the issue at hand needs to be addressed internally and before we move on, because from personal experience, you know, you have living in a hood, living in a inner city, you deal with things, you know, you deal with people dying, um, dealt with a best friend getting killed. Um, and it, it, it was two 35 year old black men, you know, and what no police officer involved, wasn't any, anybody else involved. And I didn't hear anybody shouting black lives matter then. Um, and I think that's, that's, that's the point we need to, to get to is that we need to deal with our own internal issues before we move forward and, and start pointing fingers and start attacking other people. We need to solidify ourselves as a people and, and deal with our issues because I think as long as we have black on black crime and, and, and black, you know, one black man killing another, you know, if you, if black lives matter, then they should matter all the time. Um, you know, you should never let somebody, somebody get killed. That's somebody's son, that's somebody's brother, that's somebody's friend. Um, so you should always keep that in mind. Powerful. Meanwhile, Tom Brady was also asked about off the field issues and Brady addressed the subject of Donald Trump running for president. Speaking of guys who like winning, uh, you still have the Trump hat up there. He loves winning. Have you talked to him at all? And do you have any advice for his big debate tonight? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I that think? was a nice keepsake, so it could be a uh, yeah, nice piece of memorabilia he sent me. He's a guy who likes winning like you. You think uh, he's got what it takes? I hope so. That would be great. Mm -hmm. Get putting green on the White House lawn, I'm sure of that. <laughs> Gentlemen, how do we feel about athletes letting their voice be heard on social and political issues, Stephen A? Well, I think it all is contingent on your level of intellect or your level of ignorance. If you know nothing, I'd rather you be quiet because you don't know anything. So why open your mouth and let the world know you know nothing? If you are somewhat intellectual about a particular subject, even if you don't know all the details, the intricacies or whatever, uh, then I applaud what you're doing. In the case of Tom Brady, I have absolutely no problem with the support of Donald Trump because that is a friend of his mm -hmm. and as a friend of his he has a right to support somebody that he likes because he's not hiding behind the fact that they're friends and obviously they've played golf together in the case of Richard Sherman who I consider young and pretty brilliant yeah. um, highly educated I can't applaud enough what he said I took some hits months ago Skip Bayless because I got on the quote-unquote all black, uh, black lives matter movement for booing presidential candidate Governor O'Malley from Maryland because he said black lives matter, white lives matter, all lives matter. I said, why would you boo a man running for president? What do you want him to do? Ingratiate himself to 12 to 13 percent of the population at the risk of alienating anywhere from 66 to 83 percent of the population is just not smart on the part of a president. It's a presidential candidate. It's a numbers game. You have to be knowledgeable about that. But what I also highlighted, and I'm not against the Black Lives Matter movement at all. I understand where it originated from. I understand what they're trying to say, even though some people that have ingratiated themselves into that movement, there's some questions about that, but this is not the place to get into that. What I would say, what I did say that offended folks was this. I didn't hear Black Lives Matter, when f black folks were getting murdered in the streets of Chicago by black folks. I didn't hear that when black folks was losing lives to by, other bla by the hands of other black folks in Baltimore. And that's just those two cities. And to be quite honest with you, one of, the, one of the issues I have with our president, who I love dearly, is the fact that I think he hasn't spoken up enough about Chicago, mm -hmm. which is where he's a junior senator from. So that's, what I, that's the only thing I would say about that. But with all of that being said, to get to Richard Sherman's point, Richard Sherman is absolutely right. As a black man, it is disgusting and disgraceful to see the lives of black people that are lost at the hands of other black folk. Yes, there is racism. Those problems have to exist. The prejudices, this has to exist. Ec you know, problems economically and what have you at the hands of a system that clearly, clearly has black folks behind the eight ball. All those things are true. My friend Karen Hunter speaks about this on her radio show, the great Joe Madison. He speaks about it all the time on his Sirius XM show. I would encourage people to listen to those to get more facts. But all I'm saying from a general perspective is this. 
no matter what problems exist in the United States of America when it comes to black people. And that includes racism, which has not gone away. In my opinion, it is nothing compared to black folks out here getting killed by black folks. It has to stop. There needs to be attention drawn to that. And, and Richard Sherman bringing that up to me was incredibly powerful, conscientious, thoughtful, and more importantly than anything else, absolutely positively true. I applaud that brother for saying what he has to say. It's not to say that other people can't do their part.